Welcome to the second module on the real-time polymerase chain reaction in which we will focus on primers and probes. A probe is a specific DNA or RNA primer which has been conjugated with a fluorophore. This probe will emit its signal upon binding to the DNA or RNA molecule in a quantitative manner. So in this case, we have a DNA primer and a probe which is conjugated at the 5' prime end. There are two basic kinds of probes. The first is the hybridization probe, in which a signal is based on the number of probe molecules which bind to DNA or RNA. The second kind of probe is a hydrolysis probe, in which the signal is based on the cleavage of the fluorophore by the DNA polymerase. Hybridization probes are based on the molecule of on the principle of Foster resonance energy transfer. In the case of hydrolysis probes, the DNA polymerase moves across the DNA molecule and displaces the fluorophore which is bound at the end of the probe. This only occurs when the probe and the DNA are complementary and the signal can be quantified in terms of the number of probe molecules which are bound to the DNA molecule. In this case, the polymerase is indicated in purple and the fluorophore is indicated in red. Probes have applications in forensics because of their specificity and sensitivity. They can be applied to detect multiple alleles and they can be used for multiplexing as each probe can be aligned or conjugated with a specific fluorophore. In order to use a probe or incorporate a probe into your experimental design, you need to have a standard copy number plasmid which contains the target DNA. A PCR master mix with cyber green can be utilized for conventional probe oligonucleotide primers and a PCR master mix without cyber green can be used for Tecman probes or fluorescent label probes. Tecman probe is based on the release of a fluorophore in conjunction with a black hole quencher. Tecman probe, the fluorophore is bound to the pi prime end of the DNA molecule and the black hole quencher is bound to the 3' prime end of the DNA molecule. Upon binding to the target, these two which results in the generation of fluorescence. The fluorescence signal is directly proportional to the number of molecules which bind to the analyte. In the case of Tecman primer design, the Tecman primers should have an equal melting temperature, which is in the range of 58 to 60 degrees centigrade. They should be in the range of 50 to 30 bases in length and have a GC content of 30 to 80 percent. The formation of secondary structures within the primers of the probes will result in non-specific amplification. The amplicon size of a probe should range from 50 to 150 base pair in order to ensure efficient amplification of the DNA template. That completes your module on probes. Please complete your evaluation at the end of the section. Thank you.